Hey everyone, this is Common Denominator. Welcome to my channel. I got some video here of uh, an Orlando police officer actually caught on camera soccer kicking uh, an African American suspect in downtown Orlando. I'm going to go ahead and show you the video now. Last Thursday in downtown Orlando, that is Noel Carter lying on the ground, uh, shouting for an off-duty policeman to stop kicking him as he sat on a curb outside of a nightclub. So this is a different angle, a different shot. Noel Carter running away from those officers prior to what you just saw. He was shouting at them, or they were shouting at him to get on the ground, and they were deploying their tasers at that point. And this is what Noel Carter looked like when he was finally arrested and brought in and booked. Mr. Carter was on CNN this morning. And you can clearly see that I sat on the curb. He hovers over me for two seconds and waits for the other officer to approach before he literally stomps me in the head. And uh, the other cop comes up and, and stomps me in the head again. And they continue to brutalize me at that point and, and literally beat me like a dog in the street. So that's one side of the story. The police say there is another side as well. They say Mr. Carter was drunk. He denies that. The police say that Mr. Carter was getting physical with a woman. He denies that, but the woman does say he was drunk. Uh, the police involved are still on duty, and their boss says that he has no intention right now of doing anything to kick them off the force. Orlando's police chief instead says in the interest of transparency, he has outside investigators this case. There's a lot more to the story, uh, beginning uh, at the nightclub when Mr. Carter was intoxicated, put his hands on a woman. Uh, our officers tried to interfere. There's video and witness statements that say he resisted our officers' efforts, uh, fled the scene, uh, and beyond that, he was at one point on top of one of our officers uh, and punched another officer. So what we see in one of these videos is him sitting on the curb. That's a video that obviously a lot of people are pointing to when the officer kicks him. Uh, kicks him while he's sitting on the curb. As, the, as Carter's attorney said pretty clearly, said this, the police department's not trained to beat, punch, kick, tase people who are in a passive position. There's nowhere in the training matrix that you will ever see that. So is it ever okay to kick someone when they're passively, seemingly passively sitting on the curb? Explain why, explain that moment to us from your perspective. Well, like I said, that's only a small piece of the picture. Uh, and I'm not going to comment until I have the full and complete investigation. The, the, the attorney, though, says you don't need to know the totality of the situation to understand in that moment what was happening right there is wrong. Do you disagree? Of course you need the totality of the circumstances. Like I said, uh, this individual, uh, the incident didn't start right there. This individual, Mr. Carter, had fought with officers, had punched one of our officers, was on top of one of our officers, uh, had fled, had tried to pull out taser prongs when he was tased. Uh, so there's a lot more to the story. But like I said, let's let the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, a you know, third party independent, uh, you know, do the entire investigation and uh, let's, and all those findings will be made all right, so the first thing I want to want to talk about here is um, the uh, the CNN anchor mentioned that uh, the suspect, the African American man, the suspect in this case, he he shouted for the officers. He was heard shouting for the officers to stop kicking him. That's the first thing I want to I want to bring out of this situation. Okay, everything that happened up until this point, as you saw in the video, the attorney says, you know, that's all good. Whatever happens, all good. Okay, they tried to tase him. He was this and that, blah, blah. That's all good. That's not being disputed. It was after, it was that portion of time where he was sitting down, compliant, not running away, in which we have this video of him being soccer kicked, not once, not twice, but at least three times by this police officer. Now, what you have to do, you have to ask yourself, why is he being soccer kicked at this point? What is the purpose of soccer kicking him at this point? Um, is he resisting? You, now, 
they can use pain compliance. They can use the baton. They can use several different things to get you to comply, to get to a position where you're no longer resisting arrest or resisting um, being detained. And you notice the 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 words of the chief he he immediately deflected and said well that's not where the incident started but we know that's not where it started because we have the other video we see that he's probably guilty of running away from them um and i got another point here to make with the um the taser the cop said the chief said that he was trying to pull the taser prongs out who would it Who wouldn't try to pull out taser prongs that are in your in your skin, in your flesh and electricity is being conducted through through it into your body? I mean, it's quite simple. If for I mean, have you ever touched a hot stove? You touch a hot stove by accident. Your first reaction is to want to pull away from the stove. So the fact that he tried to pull out. The prongs, what does that mean? It, it, all that says is that he's human and his body's functioning correctly. Who who leaves the prongs in so that they can continue to be electrocuted? I mean, that's just stupid. All right, so the cop also mentions, I mean, the police chief, he obviously wants nothing to do with this situation. Um, he's not talking. He mentions right off the bat, they pass this on to an outside investigator okay obviously he's learned from other cases around the country he just wants nothing to do with this he's not going to investigate he's not going to do anything he's not going to throw his officer under the bus he's going to let an outside investigator do it pretty smart i think he's trying to avoid causing problems in his department with his with his officers he doesn't want his officers bad mouthing him he doesn't want his officers He doesn't want bad morale. He doesn't want them to think that he threw this other officer under the bus. Basically, he doesn't want to cross the blue line, which is what it's called, apparently. Um, Another thing I want to mention in, in this video is that the officers, you know, obviously you can see the angle of the video. You can see that it's being shot from above you can see that someone up in a building somewhere or some sort of structure is filming this down so your your natural the natural reaction if if you're an officer about to do some dirt the first thing you're going to do is you're probably going to look to the left you're probably going to look to the right and then you're going to get some soccer kicks in because You know, it's possible this guy was on top of another officer and he punched him. And if that's true, you know, he deserves to to be charged for assaulting an officer. But he decided, this officer decided to get a little street justice. And I think that's apparent. I think any judge will see that. And it's quite possible that this officer could be charged. It's probably highly unlikely, but... The trend does seem to be changing these days. It does seem like police officers are now being charged. So we'll we'll have to wait and see on this one. Um, I think uh, I think police police officers should realize that they are they should assume they're being videotaped. Um, They should assume that someone's always watching them, and they should be on their best behavior. Simple as that. The, the public is not paying your salary so you can beat people up in the street. So you can, you know, like this officer up in over in Texas, um, you know, throw little girls on the ground who, who were doing nothing. A little girl wasn't fighting anyone. She wasn't doing anything. But just throw them on the ground just because. Um, anyway. That's all I got to say on this. Um, Let me know what you think. Uh, Go ahead and comment and, uh, you know, subscribe. And uh, I got more videos on the way. This is Common Denominator. Thanks.